our scientific group in uh, collaboration with uh, our colleagues from the US, Canada, France and uh, Germany was able to determine 3D structure of TCLT1 receptor. That means the arrangement of this uh, protein macromolecule at the atomic level. This would help pharmacologists uh, to create better drugs um, or even new drugs uh, that better interact with uh, our protein. Uh, that means uh, more specifically interact and uh, have uh, fewer side effects. GPCR structure determination, for example, CCLT1 structure determination, is a challenging task for structural biologists. It requires a broad range of different biophysical methods, starting from genetic engineering, protein expression, protein purification, protein crystallization. The protein crystals are then exposed to powerful X-ray radiation, and the diffraction peaks are used for structure determination. So far, we have obtained two types of crystals. Large ones, well, large ones mean about 300 microns, and small ones. So the large ones were used for d determining the structure using synchrotron source. And the small ones were used for X-ray free electron laser. This is a relatively new methodology that is broadly used now in structural biology it includes an acceleration of electrons in a linear accelerator source to relativistic speeds, followed by emission of powerful X-ray radiation. So this X-ray radiation is used by us, structural biologists, for obtaining the high-resolution structural information about proteins. These crystals are then exposed to powerful X-ray radiation, and the obtained diffraction peaks can help scientists to, to solve the structure of a macromolecule. To sum up, our scientific group was able to determine a 3D structure of TCLT1 receptor and understand the um, uh, mechanism of its activation. Um, we obtained two structures with uh, two drugs, uh, Zafirlucast and Pranlucast. Those uh, drugs are used in modern medicine to cure asthma and other allergic diseases. Uh, so this project was mostly performed in our scientific center and uh, this is a huge breakthrough for Russian science.